gang? Welcome back to Holistic Hustle. We are well overdue for our final episode on Fit on Fruit and to be honest with you, I've been done with it for a minute. So I finished my Fit on Fruit experiment at the end of November. Then I went home for the first time in two years, which is really what my motivation was for this whole thing in the first place. I wanted something to show all the people that I haven't seen in two years and boy were the results amazing. how much one has changed. Well, the amount of validation, compliments, people left and right that haven't seen me in so long saying, wow, Nicole, you look amazing. I honestly had no idea that I had changed that much. Over the course of my 12 week cut, cardio, training almost every day, I managed to lose 10 pounds. Bulking and, and gaining weight is the most uncomfortable thing ever. You're always full, you're going to the gym all the time, but you're just watching yourself get fatter and it is such a trippy process to go through. But I am so happy that I did it. When I was getting in my head about gaining all this weight, my trainer said to me, this is why you don't have people walking around everywhere ripped out of their minds because no one wants to go through this process of a bulk and a shred. So I was like, okay, 
I could dig it. Now that this has been over, I've been maintaining my weight for the last month. My advice to you and the whole reason I started this in the first place was because a lot of the people on my platform, mostly my Instagram, are healing themselves of chronic illness, symptoms and conditions that they might have, have had their whole life or something that they just started feeling. And along with healing comes a detox type of diet and we all know that detox and being an athlete are looked at as two different worlds and I really wanted to merge those two worlds together why should I have to give up a detox healing lifestyle of eating just so I can look a certain way I'm really happy that I pushed through and made this an actual thing so that you could probably feel like, okay, when I have the strength, when I'm feeling better from whatever I'm suffering from, I can continue eating this way and I can start working out, start training, start being more active and I don't have to sacrifice my diet. And if you do that, I swear to you, everything that I wanted out of this vlog has been complete. Even just one person doing that because I don't wanna to have to stop eating that way and you shouldn't either. And nobody should be pushed around, told that they need more protein and you can't build muscle and you can't lose fat without protein, even plant protein because I'm telling you right now, I did it. I did it with fruit, vegetables, lemon water, smoothies. Of course, I had beans and grains sometimes, but that's because I like eating those things. I don't like eating tempeh and tofu and all these mock meats that they say that you need in order to substitute animal protein for plant protein. It's not my style. As long as it's whole healthful foods that are serving your body, healing your body, and replenishing and restoring your body. So anyways, guys, that is where I'm at with my Fit on Fruit experiment. I am still going. I won't be documenting it anymore but I had a great time thank you so much for your support um, it was really fun to vlog this whole thing and, and have everything documented and um, please just don't forget this don't forget that you never have to stop no matter what comes your way you just have to sit with yourself and remember that you have your own power to do whatever you want to do in life and I'm not trying to be a motivational speaker I'm just kind of having flashbacks as I'm talking of all the people that told me oh no you need more protein all the people that gave me shit like once I got out Alopecia, the first thing people have to say is about my diet, don't want to hear it, going in my own direction, and I'm so happy that I did. So please always listen to yourself. Um, again, thanks for watching this vlog, and um, you know, they'll always be there for you. So if you have any questions, you can hit me up on my Instagram at Holistic Hustle, where I post tons of recipes and will continue sharing some fruit, fit on fruit stuff there. Again, please, please, please don't ever forget this vlog and know that if you wanna take your training to the next level, don't let them get in your head, honey. This is really just me saying, if you like eating that way, then do it. If you like eating the carnivore diet, then do it. Just do you boo boo, but don't doubt yourself because you read this article and that article. And you know what, at the end of the day, you don't even have to listen to what I'm saying. All right, so thanks so much, love you so much. Nick D out. Dun, dun, dun.